Hey everyone, today I want to try something a little different, kind of like a challenge video where I challenge myself to see how many leggy frogs that I can get out of one skein of yarn. But first, I have to tell you, I, over the weekend, did not get much crocheting done. Not a big deal, although it keeps my mind occupied. Um, Saturday I did all the editing and the video and that left me with all my Etsy button orders for Sunday. So I, that's how I started my day. I did button orders and then I decided I wanted to make a sloth. So I went on the hunt for a pattern and I can't remember the name of the shop, but it's on Etsy and I'll link it below, but uh, they have like 70% off on all their patterns right now. And they had a little sloth keychain. And this person must have like really small hands because I don't know, I use a bigger hook and everything and it, it just ends up small. But I was like, why do I have to attach a keychain to it? Why can't I just have a little sloth? So I got the pattern, it was like $1.37, and went ahead and made it up. You know, he's cute. He's got the little leggy arms. I gave him um, a safety nose, and I added a little hair because he just looked like he needed some hair. <laughs> but I don't know, I, I expected it to be bigger. I swear, why do I have this whole size deficit thing going on when I look at pictures and try and figure out <laughs> how big something is. But, so I have this little guy. He's a little small one. He doesn't take that long. He's all no-so. Um, he could probably use with the little face sculpting. And so I think I'll try that on the next one. Maybe not put so much stuffing in his head and sculpt his face a little bit. But I wanted something a little more challenging, and that was a little bigger. So I searched again, and I found another pattern. And let me tell you, I absolutely loved this pattern. Now, when I was starting, I had to start over like four times, and I just, I had to break out the stitch markers because I just kept. It kept coming out wrong, but I didn't give up. I persevered and pushed through it and got it until it started off right. But this sloth is so freaking adorable. But what I would like to say about this pattern is I kind of felt like I was at school. Not, not in a bad way. I, I totally enjoyed the way this was written into this pattern because it was kind of like being scolded and taught at the same time. You know, I, I don't have the exact phrasing, but it was like, you know, do it like this because we want it to look professional. We don't want it to look sloppy. And when it came to doing the little claws on the, um, the hands and the, the arms and legs, it was kind of another little scolding about, you know, make sure you do it right. This part's on you. And if they're not facing the right direction, it's just going to look ugly. So I, I was like, I appreciated that a lot because it was like, this is where you need to be careful. And, you know, like I said, it was kind of like being scolded and taught at the same time. So let me show you this guy. He is adorable. I love him. Look at him. The, the shape of his face. His little claws. Now, I took my time with him. He's even got a little tail, and the little tail helps to balance him so that he sits. I took my time with him, so it took me a few hours to do this. And, well, part of it's because I was watching a movie at the same time. And like I said, I got like three or four bad starts and had to frog it out. And 
until I got it right. But the picture was just so adorable. I wanted mine to end up adorable too. And I just love this thing. I don't know that he's going to go to market or not. He might stay with me. I really like this. So, and like I said, I cannot remember the two pattern names, pattern shops, because both of them have very similar names, but I'll link them both below. And this guy, he is adorable. Now I used acrylic yarn and I think a 3.75 millimeter hook to try and get his little claws. So they weren't like super giant, you know, like fit with the, um, the size that he is. But I just love this guy. He's great. I think he's really great. So then I was still in the middle of a movie. And I was like, well, idle hands, you know, my hands need to be doing something. So I decided, as much as I don't think the leggy frogs are all that adorable, but everybody says the kids love them. So, and I, mean, I have a few little frogs and I had one leggy frog. So I decided I'll make some leggy frogs. So I did this one first, this little guy. And then I broke out another one and did this little girl. Now, what I noticed was she ended up shorter. Somewhere I got lost and missed a row in this bottom section. <laughs> but that's because I was watching a movie. So my challenge today, I have, I want to see how many and how long it takes me to use up a skein. And it's key lime, parfait chunky key lime. And there is what? Oh, we all know this, but I can't think of it off the top of my head. There is a whole 131 yards or 120 meters. So I don't know how many I'll get out of that. I had another one that I started that I didn't finish. I'm on the bottom half of it and I have this much left out of it. It was an open skein, just a little piece. So I have my yarn, my five millimeter hook. I have two different yarn needles. I have an assortment of stitch markers because in the very beginning, if I don't use a stitch marker, I get lost and end up with too many stitches and it doesn't work out right. So I have an assortment of stitch markers, my scissors, my blush color, which is all a big tangled mess. And I have my black for doing the mouth. So I should probably have three different yarn needles. That way I have one for the blush, one for the black, one to sew up the bottom. But I have my little tray of bows to put on it. I have my uh, safety eyes. I'm gonna set them out and have the size all ready because you know how it goes. You go fumbling through it and they're all mixed up and then you end up picking the wrong size out. And yeah, and then I'll have my backs ready as well. So what I'm gonna try and do is do it like an assembly line and like just get the bodies all made with the eyes in it because you have to put the eyes in first and then set it aside, move on to the next one and then go back and do the blush and the mouth and sewing up the bottoms after it's stuffed to see if that makes it go any faster. Normally I don't do the assembly line thing because I just like to see it finished. So we're gonna try the assembly line thing and I'm getting low on certain size eyes. And so I got up to pick through. I might not even have enough eyes to see if I can do the, uh, the whole skein. So I'm gonna have the eyes sitting out. Oh. And I also have a lighter because these are so thin right here. And where the eyes poke through, you can feel the little, the back of it. So I take the lighter and melt it a little bit and then flatten it out so that it's not this point for, you know, someone sitting there squishing and yeah. I, so I melt it a little bit and then smush it down. 
So that also adds to my time. But I do have some on order. I went and ordered some that were specifically, the whole package was just one size. So let me see. Those are definitely bigger. Those are smaller. I have some kawaii eyes. Some more kawaii eyes. These are the backs. Hmm, we could be in trouble here on this challenge. Well, so some might end up with the the little kawaii eyes. Kawaii, kawaii, however you say it. But I, I'll use those if I need to, like as the last resort. So I also want to have my backs out and ready so that I'm not fumbling for parts. The other thing that I have is my drink. I also have my pattern notes just in case I get lost somewhere. Um, first, before I start the new one, I'm gonna go ahead and finish up this frog at least the body part of it, to where I left off last night so that it is out of the way. I don't know if this will finish this. Oh my goodness. I don't know if I'm gonna make it. Okay, that's what I had left. That's not enough to sew it up, but that's okay. I can scrounge up a little green to sew it up. So this is my plan is to get like this far with them, set it aside and then go back and, um, what do you call it? Stuff it, sew it up, put the, the cheeks and the mouth and then if I feel like it, attach a little bow. So that is the plan. That's like, a <laughs> that was pushing it. That was pushing it. All right, so I am just about ready to do this. So before I do, I'm gonna take a few moments, find my compression gloves and... Okay, so I have the timer. and it is started. Okay, so obviously I'm slow. It took 25 minutes to get this far. Now, of course, I don't work well under pressure, <laughs> but I'm battling the yarn as well because it's not a center pull skein and I have to keep stopping and unwinding and yeah. All right, so rather than make you guys watch me make however many I can get out of this, we're at one. I'm going to pause, find a comfortable spot to be in, and then I'll come back 
which will just be moments for you. Um, at 25 minutes of frog, <laughs> it might be a while before I come back. We will see how many leggy frogs we can get out of one skein of the Parfait Chunky and exactly how long it takes me to make however many of these things. Frogs. <laughs> so I'll be back. So I just took a lunch break and so far I have three and this is what we have left. So at least one more, maybe two. I doubt it would go further than two. So yeah, there's that. And I'm going to put my gloves back on and get back to work. Okay, this is what I have left. Half a frog and less than a yard. So I was able to get one, two, three, four, five and a half out of one skein. So now it's time to stuff these little bad boys and sew up the bottoms. So we're going to do that. And uh, then we get to make them look pretty. So when I'm sewing up the bottom, I'm just uh, picking up the back loop or the front loop and the back loop. Front loop closest to me, back loop furthest from me to sew it shut. And I guess you could call this like a, a whip stitch. Okay, one down and four more to go. All right, so now we're all sewn up, stuffed. So I actually have six because I had the one that was almost finished from the night before that I completed. And so it's included in these two. Not in my little experiment today, but in what I need to finish up here. So yeah, that took about, to do the five, it took about 12 minutes to stuff and sew them. And now we need to put the um, cheek blush and the mouths on them. And then we get to decorate them with some bows. So let's do that. We'll do cheeks first. I have fluffies everywhere. Okay, so little cheek blush, nothing fancy. So let's keep moving. Okay, so we have cheeks on all five plus the extra and oh that took like we'll, we'll call it 10 minutes because I didn't really look at the timer so now we need to do the little mouths and then the fun part of decorating with a glue and a bow <laughs> okay they all have their little smiley face they're all pretty much the same facial expression and now we get to pick out some bows so I had three of them that came out longer and three that are shorter, I think. The three that are longer, they're gonna be the boy frog and oops, the shorter ones are gonna be the little girls. So what do I have for a boy frog? How about some black and white striped bow tie? Like maybe a leopard print? Let's see. Yeah, that looks good on there. And one more. I have a plain old solid blue. That goes nice with that green. And then the little girls. Let's see. We have, oh, what do we want to use? I love the pink with this, with this green color. Here's a purple. Okay, so like a little, whoops, purple. yellow leopard print blue one with pink hearts on it that says love then got backwards there like that so
So I will glue these on and let them dry. And then we'll come back and take a look at how cute they all turned out. Okay, we have finished all six are um, bowed up. And so here we go. We have little girl number one with her yellow uh, leopard print. Little boy with his blue bow tie. Um, they're not 100% dry yet. And a little black leopard print little boy. Little girl with her purple star bow. And a little boy with his black and white stripe. And one more little girl with her little love heart uh, blue bow in her hair. So that is my little frog collection. <laughs> so consensus was, how many did we make, right? We made five and almost a half out of one skein of chunky, or chunky, uh, out of one skein of parfait chunky and that was 131 yards. So approximately 25 yards for one of these little froggies. And it took about an hour and 45 minutes to crochet the five and half. And then, what was it, 12 minutes to sh sew it up. So that's an hour and 57 minutes. And then attaching the, um, the little cheeks. So I think we can safely say two hours and 10 minutes for the five and a half frogs from start to finish, sewing them up, giving them cheeks and faces or mouths and gluing little bows on them, which you don't have to do. I just think it makes them a little cuter. I feel like I am slow. <laughs> like I should have gotten a lot more than that done. Although I did do six uh, with sewing it up and cheeking or blushing and uh, giving it a mouth and a bow because I had one that I needed to sew closed left from last night. So last night and today I have eight completed froggies, a half froggy. And of course we can't, of course we can't forget my gorgeous handsome little fella here. He is so sweet. He really is. I love this little guy. I think he turned out so good. So I don't know what's going to come up next. You guys will have to stay tuned and check back in to find out. Um, you know, as we know, I have a lot of things in the works here and thinking out loud here on YouTube. <laughs> so yeah, just stay tuned and check back. But in the meantime, you can go over and watch this video right here, and I will see you over there.